Up next, we have a leadership update from Ian Betts, our OMC lead, and Patrick Kelly, our OSDU Forum Chair. Ian, Patrick. Okay, we'll get another mic sorted. So thank you again for joining us today. So uh, we got plenty of welcomes from Steve, but it is really great to see everybody in the room together. So. Uh, I also realize we're standing between you and the first break, uh, so hopefully we did uh, put some more breaks in. Uh, last time we had a lot of feedback saying, you know, the conversations and the breaks were some of the best parts of the forum. So please use that time together uh, and, and talk to each other. So looking forward to, uh, to sharing some leadership updates with you. Um, and so we'll talk through it a little bit. I think Ian also reminded me, I don't think we really gave you themes for kind of what the, uh, the conference is going through day by day. So today you'll hear a lot of what's going on uh, in the forum. So you'll get some updates and I think that'll be good. Uh, tomorrow we'll talk a lot about kind of ways of working. Uh, so we'll do, do more of that. And then finally on Thursday, uh, or um, yeah, third day, we'll uh, cover how you can be part of this, right? So we'll do some breakouts and we'll have more conversation about how that can work. So Ian, I thought we'd talk to you about a few things uh, this morning. Um, so I heard some interesting contrasts uh, in the opening comments from Steve and uh, from Paul about uh, how fast we're moving versus sometimes it feels very slow. So you can kind of gain that perspective uh, as we, we talk through this, but uh, also recognize, you know, it, it very much depends on your perspective and, and kind of things you're doing. Um, we'll talk about empowering teams. Uh, we talk about this a lot, so I think it's important to keep getting the message out there. And we'll talk about some role clarity, and then we'll, we'll wrap up with some thank yous. So I'll start and uh, talk about, you know, basically the continued focus on our adoption uh, and how do we sustain our community, because that is truly the power that we have. Uh, so we're going to have a great keynote tomorrow uh, with General Bacon, who wrote the People Powered book, um, talking about, you know, basically how this work is powered by you, uh, by, by our community. And... Um, you know, we've heard clearly, you know, of all the, the progress we've made, uh, we really need to be focused on adoption. Uh, so we want to see, uh, Paul was just sharing, you know, Shell's journey. Many of us have a journey that we're on. Uh, I think we'll hear more of that today. Uh, but that is, you know, this virtuous cycle that drives this thing forward. Um, and it, it changes the conversation a bit. We probably talked about this a little bit in October around the this lust for features uh, sometimes needs to be paced with saying, hey, sometimes I just prefer some stability. So. Uh, as we think about adoption, we need to adjust sometimes our ways of working to deal with this. Um, and we know there's a clear desire to do more. Uh, we hear this from you all the time. Uh, and so I think there are probably lots of ways we can get after this. Uh, but that is the point of the conversation this week is, is how can we get there. So that's some thoughts. Would you like to build, Mr. Betts? Just a quick sound check. Is it okay? Yeah, thank you. Um, so, firstly, it's great to be here. It's fantastic to see so many faces. Uh, it's really exciting. Looking forward to the three days. I think we've got a really exciting agenda, um, and it's just going to be fantastic to spend time together. I think the, the adoption focus is really um, you know, the priority. It's real. I'm quite, um, I think, fortunate to come into the, uh, the group only about 18 months ago or so, when much of the ground has been already set for, for this. And so, you know, it, it was real 18 months ago, or it felt that way, and just the pace of everything has picked up and up and up. And so I feel like the, the people that we work with in the forums, we work together, um, we're working on an awful lot of stuff. Are we working on the things that matter most with the right priorities? I think we can do a lot more um, to, to, to address some of that. Um, so hopefully some of the things that we'll talk about today, tomorrow, on Thursday will help us with that. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll ho hopefully find a way for everyone to find something on, on the table for, uh, for them to win in, in this environment. So hearing Paul talk about how we're engaging with people. Um, we know we haven't got all the answers, but when I talk to any of you, when I talk to Patrick from an operator perspective, when I talk to some of the vendor community, the cloud providers, I always pick up on new nuggets that I think, ah, we haven't thought about it that way. And so by sharing, I think we can all um, succeed together and move faster. Um, I like the fact that we've switched to Formula One motorsport for this uh, this face to face. It was all muscle cars in October. We'll, we'll go, we'll back, go back, back to October muscle cars now. next time. Don't yeah. worry. Um, so empowering teams and removing roadblocks. We will talk a lot this morning about how we work together. We'll talk about an operating model for for, for the forum. Um, some of us after the break will come back and we'll have a bit, a bit of a panel conversation about that. We're looking for questions as well or Q and A as well. We're doing lots of great things. 
we think we can do things in a more streamlined way if we're clearer about what we're building and what we're shipping in terms of workable software and how it enables value in the ecosystem, not just in the operators, but for everyone, so that everyone gets something from the table. Um, so that's what we've really been focusing on. Um, and I should say, the, uh, it's nice to have Patrick and myself on the stage here together because we've spent a lot of time over the last year trying to um, re-energize the OMC. We've had a number of elections over the last year. I think almost all of us have come new to the role within 12 months. Um, and a number of us are new within three or four months. So we're a new team. We're kind of forming and storming a little bit as well. Um, but I think we're finding our mojo now. We're having some really healthy conversations. We've got a really nice mix of very passionate people. And hopefully we can start to yeah, do what we're saying here, remove roadblocks so that the teams within the forum can work together in an optimal way. Anything you want to add, Patrick? Yeah, I think uh, you know on this one, Ian, it really is what I sense all the time is people want to do great things. Um, that, that is clear. And so it, it really is our job as a community to figure out how to empower them to do that. And what I've increasingly heard is, is clarity, right? And so we'll talk more about ways of working this week and, and try and provide that clarity because I honestly think um, when I talk to many of you, you know, the desire is there. And so we need to put these pieces in place to, to help you get there. And that's our accountability and, and feedback. Again, always welcome. So hopefully after this week, you'll, you'll give us some feedback Talk about what's next and, and tell us how we did. Okay, so um, we're going to talk a lot tomorrow morning about a healthy community. That's something I'm very passionate about. Um, I'll say more about that tomorrow morning. And as Patrick mentioned, we'll have John O'Bacon with us. Um, it should be exciting. It will be a bit challenging for us, I suspect, challenging our normal ways of thinking, particularly in an industry like ours. Um, but we're looking forward to it. Why is it important? Because that's how we deliver. We are a community of organizations, of individuals, and we don't work in a traditional sense with a top-down command and control structure. We work on things because we're passionate about them and because we work well together. So a, the healthier the community can be, in theory, the better we can be at delivering the things that matter. Um, so I've mentioned the operating model. We'll touch on that in the next session. We'll go a bit into a bit more detail. Um, we need to be really a bit better at clarifying roles, teams' roles, how they interact, how they connect, interdependencies, um, and then build upon the work that we've been doing sometime around cross-functional teams. We've had a lot of discussion recently about pizza teams, and different people use the word slightly differently. I think that's also a bit of a challenge we face within the forum. Um, but forming those natural groups of people that bring different expertise from different places to fix a problem, and then move on to the next one, and then rinse and repeat. Now, that's really where we're thinking about how to drive this community forward. Yeah, and on this one, Ian, I honestly think we talk a lot about this, but this is, uh, hopefully you see parallels to this in your organization, I'm sure you do. Um, you know, how to work better together as a group. Um, you see this in life generally, right? We're, we're human beings, and so inside, outside, how do groups work? Um, you learn a lot about these dynamics, and, and I think clearly the message is we are here united by a shared purpose. Uh, we want to do good things together, and making sure that, that that stays at the front and that we help people see each other, right? That uh, you know, Paul talked about efficiencies and other pieces here, but uh, there's an opportunity to work differently, right? To, to share in some of these challenges. Um, I, you may have said it, Paul, or I, I know I've seen it other places plenty of times, which is say, the answer's in the room. The, these, are, these are the smartest people working on the same problems you have. Uh, back to comments on our, our kind of break time last time, it is so powerful to talk to a bunch of people who have exactly the same problems that you have. Uh, it, it is a good feeling. So. Uh, asking for that help and, and just being vulnerable sometimes and learning. So thanks for that, Ian. Um, I think these are, those are all really good things and, and we want to see this get better. And so I think with that, uh, it is then very easy to land on uh, thank yous. Uh, so again, if you were with us in October, I mentioned you know gratitude is a powerful thing. And so sometimes just saying thank you to the person next to you and what they do uh, is going to be uh, empowering for them. And, and we probably don't do it enough. So we'll start here. Uh, so bear with us, first time we're going to do this, but we'll do more, and we're probably just touching the tip of the iceberg. But we'd like to hand out some thank yous, some awards to say thank you for all the hard work that's been going on. So I think Dennis and Steve are going to come up. We'll do a little bit of high school graduation ceremony <laughs> passing here. <laughs> all right, so the first award, uh, call up Jane McConnell. So 
will make you shake hands and take your, your plaque. <laughs> So as you know, Jane is our fearless vice chair um, and does so many things for us. So I, I think clearly um, the amount of effort that people put in on their personal contributions, you know, Jane is a great example of that. So, you know, I talk to Jane at all hours of the day, uh, ridiculous times, I'm sure. And so it is clear that she's here because she's passionate about it and, and really loves what she's doing. So thank you, Jane, for all the hard work. And please, please do pile on. And I just, I'd like to add on that, or build on that, please, Patrick. So um, the work of the EA team has is, is been so vital, and we've been through a period of a year or more of real um, change with the group as well. Um, just the sheer energy and drive that you've brought to the, the, the team, Jane, has been fantastic. And the way that we've made progress recently on reference implementation, it's going to be such an enabler of the next stage of our journey. Just, um, it's fantastic. Really, thank you very much. Okay, next up is Mr. Chad Leong. So Chad, can you come up? Yeah, I don't, I don't think we've given them any warnings, so we try not to. <laughs> Thank you, Chad. Thank you. And so, you know, thanks to Chad for uh, an incredible amount of work. So, I mean, these are heroes. You'll you probably see this theme throughout, but, uh, you know, Chad, efforts are, are nonstop. Uh, so, and Steve mentioned it, whether it feels fast or slow, you know, every 10 weeks or so getting these releases out, um, I, you, most of you probably don't understand what a Herculean task that is. So, back to saying thank you. If you want to even get to the place where you could properly say thank you to Chad, come talk a little bit, understand what, uh, what is going on out there, and thanks, Chad, for all you do for us. So next up, we have Chad's partner in crime, DeBassis. Where's DeBassis? An even longer walk. So what we can do, we can do the description while they're, while they're making their way from uh, West London into the, the front of the room. <laughs> so um, nothing happens in the forum without either Chad or DeBassis helping um, to coach or to steer or whatever. And the, um, the, the value they bring to us in terms of feedback as well um, it's just fantastic. We hear the voice on the floor of the forum comes via their ears. Right. Next up is Pierrick Gaudin. Um, Pierrick leads the work on our data definitions. Um, many of you work with him, most of you work with him. Yeah, as, as many of you know, uh, data, data definitions is always probably the most popular topic in the forum. Uh, so um, it, is, it is always of interest and clearly one of our opportunities and our challenges. So, you know, Peric's leadership in this space and the fact that he's just re-upped, congratulations, so uh, is, is amazing. So we, uh, again, it's, it's a massive production effort and uh, the amount of coordination and facilitation that these folks do is, is incredible. So thank you, Peric, for all that you do. So as Patrick said, we're going to get um, better at recognition of all types. So the, the, the thank you in the moment for people, but also some of these kind of formal sessions and everything in between. Um, when we cast the net around to think about who do we want to recognize today, um, a number of names, these names kept coming up from various places. And some of the people are, are, I would say, unsung heroes. They work very quietly. They get on and do things. They're very technically competent. People respect and trust them. Um, this is one of those names that bubbled up, and it's a shell person, so I feel particularly uh, grateful and proud of this one. It's Keith Ball. Um, so I'm not sure where Keith is. Here he is.
and, and as, a, as a non, I have to claim to be a non-technical, admit to being a non-technical person in this space, um, it never ceases to amaze me just the depth and breadth of knowledge that we have in the room. And I think it was Patrick just said, the answer is usually somewhere in the room. And very often it comes back to a relatively small number of deep experts. Uh, and that's how I think Keith is, is seen by many. So um, thank you for those that suggested Keith would be somebody we should recognize. Keith, thank you for everything you do within the forum. And congratulations, having come from West London. more for Alice. So Alice Shampin, are you here? Let me see Alice. Uh, on behalf of. We get on behalf of. So again, you know, many of these are names that you'll recognize and uh, they end up being a, a tip of the spear. So like Pierre said, often these are significant team efforts, but we want to recognize Alice for all the hard work that's gone into Reservoir and all the work that they've been doing. I think it's been a great example of, thank you. <laughs> I think it's been a great example of uh, really this new way of working, right? So I think these are examples of teams that are pushing us in the right direction and it's, it's been a fantastic example. And so I think we do have a few more that are on behalf of, because not everyone could be here today and that's probably also a recognition just to say these are just a few faces, right? So there are many more of us uh, out there that are not in the room today. So. Uh, please take the time to say thank you. Um, we do have a couple, so I'll uh, call on Nikki to come up. Uh, we got a couple Chevron folks. So happy uh, to recognize uh, both Desmond Bolden, who you may know does a lot of InfoSec work in the background. Uh, Desmond couldn't be here today. Uh, as well as Andre Mosley, uh, who is very deep in our certification effort, has been for a long time. And I, I, uh, I owe Andre probably many things for that because I'd asked him to come on and, and do that for us and he continues to do so. so. But thank you, Nikki, for accepting him on behalf. Okay. Thank you. Now, now, this is another one of those names that bubbled up from almost everybody that we asked for feedback. In fact, this was the trigger for having a bit of a rethink around how we might do recognition. Um, this one's for Thomas Gehrman. Um, and I'll actually say to, to Pierre and others and to Chad, you, you, you were the ones who first said, Thomas is doing so much for the forum. How do we start to recognize the, the contribution? So this is for Thomas, who can't be here, I don't think. And so we're going to ask Raj Kanan to come and accept on his behalf. Raj, of course, being one of our founding fathers and huge contributors. Okay, and then I'll close it out. An another um, name that I'm sure you'll recognize uh, as this front end is Brian Bullmay. So I don't think Brian could be here. Um, David Jacobs, if you're here, you wanna come up and accept on Brian's behalf. Um, all the work that uh, has gone into that geospatial consumption zone. It's been a, a tremendous amount of work. And, and again, these are examples of projects and people that are really pushing us, I think, into the ways of working that we want to be. So, thank you, David. Okay, so that, that completes our, our first pass of this. So thanks for bearing with us. Um, like I said, it is very easy. The easiest thing you can do is say thank you uh, and mean it. Um, this is, again, just a, a small example of people who are doing a tremendous amount of work for you, whether you realize it or not. Um, so please uh, thank each other, be grateful uh, for all the contributions that we make together, and especially for these people uh, who are clear leaders in our community, and we appreciate all that you do for us.